So it's really light buttonhole. That's major, it said. No, ma'am. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. If you've been watching this channel for the last couple weeks, you know that we have been reviewing a bunch of sewing machines that are all under $100. This one I found on Amazon. I was scrolling across. You guys know I like to try different sewing machines for you guys so you'll know whether to spend your money on it or keep your coins. Um, and I saw this Kylington multifunction sewing machine. In essence, it is a mini sewing machine, like many of the mini sewing machines that we have reviewed. I'll put the exact price and a link in the description box below. So it's really light, like a lot of the mini sewing machines. It is mostly plastic, of course. You're not gonna get a metal sewing machine that's gonna be super light. But let's use it, let's try it out and see how it works. It does have 12 sewing stitches, like many of the mini sewing machines. What these mean is that you're going to get a bunch of straight stitches and they're going to be the stitch length. So it does not have a stitch length dial. Um, it just has a dial to show, and these aren't pressable buttons. <laughs> I'm sure you're thinking the same thing as me. Like you click this and that tells you what, no, it's not computerized or anything like that. Um, you roll the dial and then these buttons just tell you which stitch goes to which although it tells you here so i don't know why it has to do it double maybe i'm missing something but we're gonna use it to see it does have a back stitch oh it's very strong i like that it does have a free arm Let's see oh that's the thread and it's already threaded okay slide open this drawer inside have spool and bobbin Please put the spool to the spool holder before starting the machine. Got it. All right, it was hiding in there. I'll probably re-thread it, um, but it does attempt to be threaded when you get it. That, I'm not trusting that. This thread is thick. It does have a bobbin winder, um, and it does take metal bobbins. This came with a quick start guide as well as a manual. So it shows you how to start it up really quickly, to get sewing really quickly. And you can see that they want you to be able to sew with this right out the box because they have it completely threaded. And they have a piece of material under here that looks like it's been sewn on to show you how it sews. But we're gonna test it ourselves. Then it also comes with a mini presser foot as well as a power cord. It does not use batteries. I've been finding that more often in some of these mini machines. It does not use batteries. It does have a slow and fast level on the side. So there is a hand knob that you can use to make it go, meet like slow, go fast or stop. For a lot of you guys that might have arthritis, that's one of your concerns. You wanna be able to use it without the presser foot. This does have it. And it came with a ton of accessories, like actual thread, like legit colors. Look at that color. Oh, it's so pretty. And already wound bobbins. Now, granted, these bobbins look loosely wound, so maybe they were wound with this machine and maybe the machine is okay with them like that but we're gonna test it and find out um, it came with tape measure as well as needle threaders a seam ripper and a buttonhole foot this can do a four-step buttonhole that's major major as far as a mini sewing machine so keep that in mind and then it came with a ton of needles. I don't know if that means the needles break easy or what, but it came with a ton of them. These are 90 by 14. These would typically be good for um, like men's dress shirts. I am ready to sew on this and I see on the side it also has a thread cutter. So I'm going to try to sew with it right out the box and see what happens. 
And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button down below. I have so many different types of upcycles, whether you're talking about the easy, the no so all the way up to the most amazing epic upcycles ever. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss anything and turn on all notifications. And you also have an opportunity to join my members only group. That is a group where you can either take a class by me or you can watch my live interviews every Monday night at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So definitely hit that join button down below to learn about all the perks and we'll get back to the video. I find with these like no name brand machines, and I won't say no name, but off brand machines, I don't know what it is. It's so hard to get the thread out when you finish sewing. You put the needle all the way up like most machines, at any position it's hard to get out and I just don't understand it. So I had to end up wiggling the knob up and down, up and down, up and down just to get the thread out. So. I don't get that. It does have an extra high lift on it. So if you pull up on the foot, it'll go higher. I'm finding that they're putting that in all sewing machines now. So it's, got, it's not gonna be an odd or specialty thing to get soon. It'll just be what it is. All right, so let's talk about men's dress shirt material. I did use the thread it came with because I figured if that's the thread it came with, it should work best with that thread. And first of all, I did one stitch, looked at the back of it like normal, had to adjust the tension. Whenever your the back of your stitch is a little bit loose, oddly enough, you loosen the tension. It took me a long time to learn that because I automatically, when the bottom is loose, I wanted to tighten the tension, but you actually loosen the tension when the stitch is loose and it corrected it right away. Um, the stitch looks pretty good and you know, I can't complain. Then I decided to try the zigzag stitch and the blind hem stitch. This does have a blind hem stitch. So if you're using this for mending, this will be a great one for mending. This does boast to have a buttonhole stitch, so I decided to try it. The first time I messed up, I went the wrong way in my thinking, because I was thinking I had to reverse the material, but that actually probably is a better option, because when I did it the correct way, um, the stitches were too close together. So that's definitely something you would have to perfect that skill. Buttonhole stitches, the zigzags are still pretty far apart like all of these mini sewing machines. So um, yeah, I don't know that I would get it specifically for the buttonhole. Overall, it's only okay. It's only okay on men's dress shirt material. So I'm a little worried now about sewing jeans on it. <laughs> All right, two layers, sew through like a champ. I folded it over, tried to do four layers. It said, no ma'am, lights out, it would not move. It wouldn't even try to put the needle through. It wouldn't even let me break the needle. <laughs> and I, of course, I don't like breaking needles. You know, you might get popped in the eye, and different things like that, so it's a safety issue. So that's probably why I don't know how it senses it, but it would not even go through it. Like it wouldn't even try to put the needle down. Lights out, it said no. Um, so then just for grins, I tried it on leather. One layer, not even two layers, one layer of leather, it said no ma'am, lights out. We're not gonna do it. So, um, and it's not the needle. I know some people say, well, well, switch the needle. It's not the needle, it's the motor. The motor doesn't have enough power to go through those layers. So, who would I say this sewing machine is for? Um, I feel like there are cheaper sewing machines that could get you 
better, that would do better, or the same price sewing machine that is better than this one. So I'm going to say, I don't like saying this. I don't like downing products because you know there are real people that put their effort into making these things, and you know that makes me sad. But I would not spend my money on this particular brand. Um, I feel like it. It is a toy. It's a cute toy. I, I I like the looks of it. It's really cute. And it has, you know, everything that you would need um, as far as the stitches. They thought through that really well. It's just simply the build quality. If the build quality were better, this would be on par with all the other mini sewing machines that I reviewed. But it's just simply the build quality that I'm concerned about. The build quality to me is similar to those handheld sewing machines that I've reviewed. So just keep that in mind as you are looking for a sewing machine. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't like giving bad news. I want to tell you that it sold through 10 layers. So go buy it fast before it's, you know, out of stock. But it is what it is. I try to be honest so that you guys don't you know waste your money i do have a ton of other sewing machine reviews of amazing sewing machines that you absolutely should invest your money in no matter how small or big that money is so definitely check those out right here definitely hit that subscribe button if you want to see more sewing machine tutorials let me know in the comments if there's a specific one you want me to review and i'll try to get my hands on it and i will definitely see you guys in the next one all right bye